Hi, my tricks. My name is Jennifer Godlinton. I have been teaching mathematics for the last 10 years, and I'm currently teaching at Springfield Convent Senior School, which is a Catholic school in Weinberg, Cape Town. I love mathematics. I think it's fun. I think it's exciting. I try and make sure that all of our lessons have a relaxed atmosphere where you feel very calm to ask questions, to answer questions. This is your matric year. I know how important it is, and if you are finding that you are not understanding something along the way in a lesson, please speak up and let me know so that we can work through it together. We'll be working through matric finance, which is one of the rare sections in high school maths that's actually useful for your life after school. So we'll be talking about things like car loans and home loans and delayed payments, all things that will really help you actually understand your financial life once you've left school. Um, during the course, there will be two quizzes, one midway through and one at the end, just to make sure that you understand what's going on along the way. And there are triad videos after each of our lessons so that you can go home, work through the exercises and really make sure you understand what's going on. In our first lesson, we're going to be doing some grade 11 revision. So if you're worried that your grade 11 financial maths was not up to scratch, we will sort that out before jumping into our metric work. So let's just get an idea of what the lesson would look like. Um, you'll be on the call, and I'll have a question up on the board similar to something like this. This is part of our grade 11 revision, so this is a question that you should all still be familiar with. And then we kind of work through this together. I would ask you questions along the way, and anyone who feels comfortable to answer. I'd love it if you answered. I will never be upset if you give me the wrong answer. I think mistakes are an important part of the learning process. So let's read through this question together. 100,000 Rand is invested in the pension fund and the total in the pension fund after 10 years is 250,000. Calculate the interest rate if the interest is compounded annually. So they've told us a lot of important information. Firstly, they've told us that it's been compounded annually. So we know we're using our compound interest formula. They've told us that 100,000 was invested, so that's our principal amount. And they've told us that it became 250,000, so that's our accumulated amount. And that was after 10 years, which is what our N is. And I is what we are looking for. So now that we have all that information, we can just chuck it into our formula. So we're going to have 250,000 is equal to 100,000. 1 plus i to the power of 10. We're going to manipulate this around a little bit, so we're going to move that 100,000 onto the other side. We're then going to root that by the 10 and subtract a 1. So essentially, all we're doing is trying to make i the subject of the formula. We're going to chuck that into our calculator, and i get a value of 0, 0,0959. And now because it's interest, it's a percentage, which means our percentage is going to be 9,60%. And that is where we would end our answer. I'd love it for you to get involved as we work through questions like this. I'll obviously be going through that a little bit slower. And I hope that you all sign up because I'm very excited to see you there.